Okay, welcome back um, to another coffee collaboration from Seattle Coffee Care with me, your host, Clementine. Uh, this week we're going to be doing our own special take on what's, what's commonly called the Fat American. Um, traditionally in that drink you're going to be using espresso, but we decided to go ahead and make a cold brew out of Equator's Tiger Walk uh, espresso blend. Um, so we have that also available on our website. It's under the bright and floral section if you're interested. Uh, it kind of has notes of lemon and uh, bright floral, bright berry notes. Um, so, and it's going to work really well with our recipe because not only are we going to be combining it with soda pop cola, um, we're also going to add in some maple syrup and we're going to add in some lemon. So it should be real interesting. All right, so to start us off, we've got our cold brew here. We let it, I, I made it yesterday and I let it sit overnight. Um, uh, so step number one, pour that over your ice. All right, and then let's just dive right in to our next step. This is gonna be, this is a cup of, of cold brew right here, so it's about eight ounces. This is about six ounces of soda pop cola imported from Mexico, uh, made with sugar cane sugar. So it's the good stuff. So you just add that in. It's kind of perfect for this cup, perfect amount. And then I'm going to give that a little stir, real quick one. And then let's add in our maple syrup. This is about half an ounce of maple syrup. It could also probably be about a tablespoon, depending on what uh, tools you have at home. About a tablespoon. Okay, and then I'm just going to drizzle some lemon over the top like this. Just get it all in there. Drop it in. Okay, and then let's mix it up again. Seems like it could be a really interesting summer drink, especially if you're a big fan of soda pop cola and coffee. Pretty easy recipe right there. Um, Again, that's really just four ingredients. You've got your single cup of ice brew coffee, which that's gonna be a much lower acidity than any other brew type, um, which is why it's kind of possible to add in extra th um, acidic ingredients like the lemon. Um, we're also adding in, again, six ounces of soda pop cola and about a tablespoon of maple syrup and a squeezed in lemon. So let's see how it tastes. It's hard to think about it like objectively because I feel like thinking about it that how I made it kind of changes the way it tastes for some reason like if this was handed to me and I didn't even know what was in it how would I feel about the flavor I think it's pretty good I know some people really love it, some people super hate it, and I think a lot of that depends on what type of coffee you put in it and how you brew the coffee. There's not much you can really control with the other ingredients. They kind of come as they are, although you can choose to use uh, sugar cane cola. Um, but if you choose a coffee that has uh, a lemon hint to it, like the Equator Tiger Walk, um, that might pair better with what you're trying to create. I'd say on the Clementine scale of uh, coffee flavor deliveries, this comes in at a whopping seven. <clears throat> so, not bad. Would drink again, might not prepare outright again, probably won't have a craving for it, but would drink it if it were magically available. So, okay, all right, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this coffee collaboration. Uh, Coke, Coke and coffee, who'd have thought? 
that you could combine such such uh, distinctly different drinks. Am I right or am I right? Tell you what. All right. Stay tuned for next week where we'll be making another coffee for you to watch. Uh, be sure and like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks again. Bye. Cool. How is it? It's all right. Yeah. Cool.